So for today's video, we're going to talk about measure of position. First, let's define what is measures of position. A measure of position determines the position of a single value in relation to other value in a sample or a population data set. So in terms of measure of positions, we have three common measures. So we have quartile, decile, percentile. So when we say quartile, divides the data set into four equal parts. When we say decile, divides the data set into 10 equal parts, while percentile means divides the data set into 100 equal parts. So let's say we have this as a, dia a diagram for quartiles. So we have data, okay? And we're going to have our Q1 or the first quartile, quartile 2 and quartile 3. Quartile 1 is the lower quartile. Quartile 2 is the median. And the quartile 3 is the upper quartile. So in this quartile, it is divided into four equal parts. And each data has 25%. Or each quartile has 25%. Next one is decile. So again, when we say decile, it divides the data into 10 equal parts. And each part has 10 percent. And last one is the percentile. Okay, so we have 100 equal parts and each part has 1 percent. And what about the formula? or the process to compute the quartiles. First is for the first quartile or our lower quartile. So we have 0 0.25 times n plus 1. Then if our lower quartile falls halfway between two integers, we're going to round up our answer. So let's say we have 4.57. So our answer is 4.6. And to compute the quartile 2 or the median, we have 0 0.5 times n plus 1. And to compute the quartile 3 or the upper quartile, we have 0 0.75 times n plus 1. If upper quartile falls halfway between two integers, we're going to round down the answer. So let's say we have 7.43. Okay, so our answer is 7.4. So that's our the formula to compute quartiles. How about to compute decels? So to compute the positions of decels, we're going to use the formula d sub k is equal to k over n times n plus 1, wherein k is the decels being as for that problem. Percentiles, okay, we have p sub k is equal to k over 100 times n plus 1. So those are the formula to get the decels and the percentiles. So take note, this is for the quantiles for ungrouped data. Now, for example, using the given data 2, 3, 18, 20, 6, 5, 15, 12, 10, and 8, find the following. So first, we're going to find the first quartile, 8 decil, and the 54th decile. So first thing that we're going to do is to arrange the data in increasing order. So we have 2, 3, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15, 18, and 20. And the first question is to find the first quartile. So we all know that the formula to get the first quartile or the lower quartile is given by 0 0.25 times n plus 1. Then the value or the number of data that we have is 10. So 10 plus 1 is 11 times 0.25 is 2.25. 75. So 2.75, let's get the round off, the okay, round up of this value. So we have three or the third place. So in this data, what is the third place? So we have five. So five is the first quartile or the lower quartile for this data. Next one is to find the eighth decile. So this is the formula to get the decile. D sub k is equal to k over 10 times n plus 1. Then our value of k is the 8 decile or the 8. And the value of rn is the number of data that we have. So we have 10. 
So 10 plus 1 is 11 times 8 over 10 is equal to 8.8. Or if we're going to round up, we have 9 or the 9 place in our data. So the 9 place in our data is 18. So the 10th decile or the 8th decile, I mean, is 18. How about the 54th percentile? So you think again, the formula, which is P sub K is equal to K over 100 times N plus 1. Okay, the value of RK here is 54 and the value of RN is 10. Then 10 plus 1 is 11 times 54 over 100 is equal to 5.4094. And if we're going to get the round up, okay, we have 6 or the 6th place on our data. So the 6th place on this data is 10. So the 54th percentile is 10. So that are the procedure steps on how to get the percentile, decile, quartile for ungrouped data. So now, let's proceed for quartiles for group data, decile, and the percentile. So this is the formula to get the quartile for group data. So we have LB for the lower boundary plus I for the interval times the KN over 4 minus CF for the cumulative frequency over F for the frequency. Then for the decile, we have B sub K is equal to LB plus I times K times N over 10 minus CF over F. And for the decile, okay, we have the lower boundary plus the interval times the KN or the product of the KN over 100 minus CF over F for the frequency. So let's proceed to our example for us to uh, understand more the different quartiles or quantiles for group data. Now, for example, the data shown in frequency or distribution scores of 40 students in a mathematics class consists of 60 items. Fine for the first Quartile. So we have the class limit and the frequency. So the total of um, student in math class is 40 students. And to get the cumulative frequency, okay, we're going to add the preceding number. So we have 5, next by 7, next by 10, 15, 17 plus 9 is 26. 26 plus 6 is 32. 32 plus 3 is 35. And 35 plus 5 is 40. So that is the less than cumulative frequency. And using the formula for the rank value, which is the n over 4, the value of Rn is 40 divided by 4 because we are here in the quartiles is equal to 10. So 10 is the indicator where is the class limit or the lower boundary of our given data. So this is the 10, okay? And the class limit that we're going to use is 20 to 24. But to get the lower boundary, we're going to subtract 0.5. Okay, to the first number, so we have 19.5. Then the cumulative frequency is 10. And the frequency is 3. And the interval is 5. So when we subtract, or from number 20 to 24, okay, it has 5 inter. And let's use our formula. So again, the formula is given by this. So our formula, or our lower boundary is 19.5 plus the interval 5. Then the value of RK, or the position that we're going to find, is the first Quartile. So that's why we have one here. Times 40, which is the total number of students, over 4 minus 7. Okay, Why 7? Because the less than cumulative frequency here is to get the above value of the cumulative frequency, which is 7 over 3 as a frequency. Then let's simplify. So we have 19.5 plus 5 times 1 is equal to 24.5. So that is the first quartile, 24.5.
So to conclude this, thus, 25% of the scores are less than 24.5. Why 24.5%? Why because we're going to get the first quartile. So if it is second quartile, okay, our percentage here is 50. If our quartile is third quartile, the percentage here is 75%. If the quartile is fourth quartile, the percentage here is 100%. Next example, an example for the decile. The data shown in frequency or distribution score of 40 students in a mathematics class consists of 60 items. Fine for the fifth decile. So we have the class limits and the frequency. So same here, okay, we're going to get the less cumulative frequency by adding the preceding number. So we're going to start at 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 plus 2 is 17. 17 plus 9 is 26. 26 plus 6 is 32. And 32 plus 3 is 35. And 35 plus 5 is equal to 40. Then let's proceed in getting the rank value. So we have Kn over 10. Okay? Our K here is 5. And the value of Rn is 40. So 5 times 40 is equal to, divided by 10 is equal to 20. So 20 is the indicator. What is the class limit that we're going to use here? So 20 is in between this, okay, in this row. So our class limit is 35 to 39. And our lower boundary, by subtracting again the 0. 0.5 and 35, we have 34.5. And the cumulative frequency is 17. The frequency here is 9. The interval is 5. Okay, And let's proceed on our formula. So this is the formula to get or to compute the decile. So let's substitute. So our um, lower boundary is 34.5 plus the interval 5. Then the computed Kn over 10 is 5 times 40 over 10 minus the cumulative frequency is 17. And the value of our frequency is so when we compute this one or simplify, we have 36.5 17. So 36.17 is the fifth decile for this problem. So as the conclusion, hence 50% of the scores are less than 35.7. And because the, the value of k is 5, okay, getting the 10% or every decile has 10%. So 10 times 5 is equal to so we have 50% of the scores are less than 36.7. Next is example for percentile. So the data shown in a frequency are distribution scores of 40 students in a mathematics class consists of 60 items. Find the 85th percentile. So same class limit in a frequency, we have a total student of 40. And so here is to find again the cumulative frequency or the less than cumulative frequency. So we have 5, 7, 10, 15, 17, 26, 32, 35, and 40. And now as to use the rank value for the percentile, so we have 85 times 40 over 100 is equal to 34. And then let's find the lower boundary. So we have the rank value of 34. So we don't have exact 24 here on our cumulative frequency. So higher than 34 is 35. So this is the row of our data. So that's why our lower boundary is 44.5. Then our cumulative frequency is 32, okay, which is the above of the chosen or the rank value of our cumulative frequency. Then the frequency is 3. And the interval is 5. Then now let's proceed to our formula. 
So this is the formula to get the percentile. Yeah, so then let's substitute the value of the lower boundary interval, the rank value, uh, um, cumulative frequency, and the frequency. Then if we're going to simplify this one, we have 47.83. Okay, so therefore, as a conclusion, 85% of the scores are less than 47.83 because the value of RK is 85 and we are here in a percentile each part has one percent so that's why we have 85 percent of the scores are less than 47.80 so that's it thank you and god bless you for more icct colleges video updates please subscribe and click the notification button